Okay, so <clears throat> I wanted to give a little a little breakdown of all the performance modifications that are found in this uh, 2011 135 for sale. Look, it's been a fun, great little car. Um, I'm I'm gonna miss it when it gets sold. Obviously, if it doesn't bring in what I want for it, I'm totally happy with keeping it. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of context. Then I'm gonna go through with you the parts and then kind of use this as a tutorial for anybody that buys a car and how they can access different things um, as well as you know the different options that you have with what I installed so first let's start with some context the reason why I built this specific car was because I wanted to have a low mileage nice car that could be used as a daily driver but also something that you could bring to the track on the weekends <clears throat> you know have fun with it at the track um, have it perform really well and then be able to drive it all the way home without having any lights or anything come up and then be able to get in the car and drive to work on a Monday. To get it to pass fog, you just have to swap out the downpipe. It's literally eight bolts in an in, in O-ring where it connects to the exhaust manifold. It's about 20, 30 minutes on this particular car. Remove the tunes, we'll have no problem passing this fog. What did I do to get that power up there and how have I done it safely? Um, safely is the most important part. The last thing that I want to happen is that you blow an engine and, and that's you know pretty hard to do with the modifications that I have on it meaning that that I did them all within the guidelines of I wanted to add modifications to the car but I didn't really want to ever run the risk of blowing the car up or having some thing some light light up on the dashboard every other week so it's back in the shop I wanted to be as reliable as possible and after talking to some tuners and some people that have bought these cars, and I've done a lot of it myself, this is my third one series that I've ever owned. Um, the general consensus is that if you want to, if you want to have fun with the car and keep it as reliable as possible, you have to try not to push any more than 500 horsepower out of the engine unless you're planning on pulling the engine apart and building out the internals of the engine, which I didn't want to do. So that meant that the goal would be that I, I want to add a solid, you know, grand total all combine about 450 horsepower and and have it remain reliable and so to keep it as reliable as possible i didn't want to get an over-the-shelf tune which you can easily buy they're a couple hundred bucks what i did is I, I have a custom wedge performance tune these guys have been in the game a real long time they know the platform of this car really well they work with that specific turbo the pure stage 2 turbo really well and the car is just completely dialed in so let's start from the top there's an upgraded pure stage 2 turbo um, Evolution Rate, Raceworks front mount intercooler, um, Evolution Raceworks charge pipe, turbo to intercooler pipe, um, as well as all the, the tubing and everything that goes along with that. Um, and then there's a, a Wagner Catalyst downpipe, and then an engine uh, carb certified cold air intake. Now, all these parts are made in America. Um, they're not cheap Chinese parts, they're high end. Um, you know, race parts, right, for a car. They're meant to last, and most of them have been installed in this car within the last year, year and a half, and are still under the manufacturer's warranty. That's all the performance parts going on outside the car. Those are all pulled together by a custom tune, a wedge performance tune, which make it all sort of like work harmoniously, um, which it does too. So without doing anything, right, you, you have the option to get this car with all that pulled off, obviously all the, all the leaving on all the performance parts, but, you know, I can, I can flash the the tunes back to stock um, and you can basically have all those performances basically be a stock car again um, you know or uh, you can tune it to however you see fit right if you wanted to you can easily add 100 more horsepower to this car by doing port injection and getting into methanol and changing the fueling and the high and low pressure fuel pumps I didn't want to do all that because that's when the engine starts getting really finicky and if you're not planning on building up the internals then you're gonna have a lot of problems with it. Um, so I just wanted to keep it safe. I wanted to keep it reliable. That's a quick breakdown on it. All those tunes are uploaded directly, uh, you know, as a flash tune through the DME using MHD. And then I have a transmission tune on an XHP transmission tune, which is probably the newest tune that I have on this particular car. And, you know, honestly, I should have gotten it sooner. It just makes it a pleasure to drive. I was talking about uh, coding and how this all works. And so you can see I have MHD. Um, there's a little wireless dongle here that plugs in the OBD2 port. This is how you load tunes onto the car. So you could see, you know, flash and MHD map. On mine in particular, I have all these over the shelf um, tunes that come with MHD. However, I don't use those. 
Um, I use a, a custom tune that I was mentioning before. Here you can see all the custom tunes and the versions that we had of them. Um, now this will also allow you to read codes from the car. So if you ever throw any codes, in fact, let's let's run through that right now. Um, we should be clean. Let's read codes. So as you can see, we're we're totally clear. And if you ever have any issues with the car that come up, you see any lights on the dash, just allow you to read the codes. Um, you know, so you could start to fix in diagnostic, but it shouldn't have any codes. Everything's running clean. The other thing that we want to look at and, and how I log information is um, by seeing exactly what the car is doing um, with the tune. So you can see this gives me a readout of everything that the car is doing when I'm driving it. And I take these logs and I give them to uh, my tuner over at Wedge Performance and then he custom codes a tune. Um, to make sure that it's working harmoniously with all the things that I have too. Similarly, um, I have the same thing for XHP, right? For this actual tune, which is for the transmission. Um, so you can actually connect um, to the RB tuning app using the same thing too. And here you could see a little bit of information about uh, the transmission tune that I have. And again, same thing. For the map pack, there's different versions of the transmission tune that we have um, on this car. But I have it all set again, right, for a stage three tune. So this basically just gives you all the information that you have on the transmission. Now, this is all going to come stock with the car. I'm going to deliver it like this unless, you know, whoever buys it wants just all this removed from it and have it to be completely returned to stock. I'm happy to do that for you. I already paid for this and, and I spent a good amount of money um, purchasing all this software and getting it dialed into the car to the point where like you don't really have to do anything to it anymore um you know you can just remove it if you were to go in and, and have the car smog but beyond that you don't really need to mess with it and it's all dialed in and it's working perfectly so if it were me um you know i would definitely take what we've you know all the hard work that i've done getting it dialed in with all the aftermarket modifications that we have um, and just leave it as is. Um, but again, if you want to and you want to build it off your own platform, it's going to be your car. Do what you want with it. <clears throat> so again, just give it a little bit of drive. And we, we have live time. We're using MHD here. I'm going to put us into manual, make sure that sport mode's on, um, work through it. And I'm going to actually, we'll just record a, a quick log here um, so I can show you how this is done. But this is really how I send it to the tuner. So let's start this log. And what this is going to do is start recording what the car is doing. Um, and this is the information how I send it to my tuner. So let's get on a little bit here. Merge onto I-5 South. specific to the parts on this car and uh, as a part of that XHP tune. So I can deliver the car however you'd like. You can have it with all the tunes the way that it is, which is completely dialed, ready to go. Throw it into sport mode and go. You'd never really have to mess with the tunes ever again, or I can deliver it to you stock, or I'm happy to pass along the information of the tuners that I've been using. So if you want to take it farther um, and continuing to have them you know, work on the car, dial it in more after you've had more parts to it, happy to do that just inquire about it in the sale and you know you're going to be really stoked on the ride so um, thanks so much for checking this out hope you love the car whoever gets it is going to be really lucky i probably put about you know ten thousand dollars into aftermarket parts tunes and just diving this car in getting it the way that i wanted to do it so it's going to be a real value 
to whoever buys it um, if you get this car under 30 grand you know it's going to be a real good deal for you anyway um, thanks so much for checking it out and uh, good luck with the video